Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and people of the internet? It's Bossy here, bringing you guys another YouTube video back onto my channel. And today, for you guys, I'm going to be doing a, another Call of Duty World War II video. Now, today's video is actually going to be a class setup, so I haven't done one of these in the longest time on my channel. I think the last time was in Call of Duty Ghosts, but I'm going to be trying to bring this back um, because I actually do want to help other people out because I've actually been grinding this game a lot, and surprisingly, I've been doing pretty decent. I'm not a pub stomper, but, uh, you know... Holla at your boy, I can clutch. But I'm going to be talking about the best class setup for beginners like me. Because i actually seen a lot of people doing best class setups. And it involves like the bar or the MP40. And that's going to be at the last, last, last uh, rank you can be available at. So this is going to be something for beginners. So it's going to be for you guys that need to grind this game out. And actually have a decent gun to win some gunfights. Now the gun that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is actually going to be the STG44. And I have some gameplay running in the background with the gun uh, setup that I've been using. So... The only reason uh, I'm not going to say that the gameplay is the best is because it was actually lagging a lot due to the recent patch. Um, and it's it, the servers were terrible, so excuse the 27 and 10 gameplay, I believe that's what I went, and uh, just enjoy the actual um, kills that I get, because the kills I do get um, is really is really the reason why I'm going to be focusing on the specific, um, the specific uh, attachment, sorry. So there's going to be two versions of it, uh, one that I personally like to use, and then one that my brother prefers to use. So for the STG-44, it's overall really balanced weapon. Um, I like the fact that it feels like an assault rifle, uh, even though it's a submachine gun. It's actually the third submachine gun you can unlock and I believe you can unlock it around level 10 I believe I'm not sure don't hold that against me but this is gonna be around a level 10 class basically so this gun itself is uh, like I said we're pretty well balanced and these attachments honestly already make it pretty OP so the attachments that I like to run are grip quick draw and um sorry high caliber now the thing is the reason why i'm choosing these specific ones is because quick draw i like to actually aim down the sight faster i'm not a fan of that slow uh aiming down the sight although if you're not uh you know a fan of aiming fast you could always just um replace it with uh, advanced rifling or my brother's favorite which is rapid fire so um i prefer quick draw and i also have four grip because i actually like to be able to aim better um you know especially in you know long distance gunfights it actually comes in really handy and actually one reason why it's ties in with another of the attachments which is high caliber so high caliber is actually um, increased headshot damage now obviously a lot of people are not going to be going for headshots because this is in call of duty modern warfare 2 where you need to get that fall camo but it actually does help out in the long end because um, sometimes if you do hip fire you might actually shoot above the waist and get an accidental headshot so in this game um, the call of duty uh, world war 2 hitbox detection basically um, it actually registers headshots if you shoot around the nipple area and above so basically if you can shoot from the from the breast to the shoulder you pretty much get a headshot shot um because it actually counts as a headshot damage so if you do put high caliber if you aim anywhere around the waist you might actually end up getting a headshot so it does help out when you're trying to get that uh three shot kill and then dip um so this actually does help out in close quarters if you're just spazzing out like i do sometimes in hip fire i actually did get a couple of headshot kills in the gameplay in the background i don't know if you guys can see it um by just you know hip firing and it was actually pretty cool um so it actually does help out um, you could always, you know, someone actually told me why not to use FMJ, but I feel like the uh, the walls are already so thin that you don't need FMJ. Um, also, another thing that actually helps out with high caliber is that if you're, you know, shooting at a long distance, especially like in um, in Gustav Cannon and USS Texas, um, this happens a lot. People always like to head glitch. Now, um, you might actually get one or two shots, of, you know, around the shoulder area and you'll get the hit marker. But if you actually use high caliber, um, you do get the kill. So this actually is an anti-head glitching um, class setup as well. So this is my personal uh, favorite setup so far for the SGG44. Now, for my brother, he likes to remove um, quick draw and put rapid fire. And that honestly is an amazing um, setup too, to have rapid fire, high caliber, Caliber and foregrip, so you have the perfect accuracy already from the gun. Um, you have high caliber, so you can win uh, gunfights from the distance as well um, with headshots, easy headshots, and then you have rapid fire, so you can make the gun shoot more. Now. In my opinion, the SGG44 already shoots fast enough, but if you want to actually win more close combat fights instead of long range, then I would go with rapid fire. But for now, it's a pretty balanced gun, and I do enjoy using this setup, and I hope you guys do enjoy using it as well. Let me know what you guys think about this setup down in the description. Um, if anyone actually needs to know, I'm actually running the infantry class as well on this, or infantry division, and uh, that's pretty much about it. So again, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did enjoy it and want to see more class setups, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to grind out 
out some gameplays for you guys and get some decent, um, you know, class setups uh, arranged for you guys. So, again, let me know how you guys like this class setup, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.